Hi guys. Welcome to the 4Wheel TV channel. Support US by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the notification button. Thank you. Most SUVs aren't machines that pull at our heartstrings, but the 2022 Alfa Romeo Stevio Quadrifoglio isn't most SUVs. It's a high-riding, Italian-bred heartthrob with a 505 HP twin-turbo V6 and a soundtrack that stirs the soul like a power ballad. The only changes to the 2022 Stevio Quadrifoglio involve newly standard features. These include a suite of previously optional driver assists such as adaptive cruise control, automatic high-beam headlights, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, and front and rear parking sensors. It also now comes standard with an auto-dimming rearview mirror, built-in navigation, front and rear heated seats, and wireless phone charging. Alpha has raised the starting price of the Stevio QF a few thousand dollars to account for the addition of various newly standard features. The version we'd choose would forego the optional Sparco racing seats due their restrictive qualities and lack of heating elements. However, we'd add the carbon package that dresses the exterior mirrors, V-shaped grille, and steering wheel with carbon fiber and includes a leather-wrapped shift knob. The sole engine is a hypnotic twin-turbocharged 2.9-liter V6 that makes 505 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. It pairs exclusively with a paddle-shifted 8-speed automatic transmission that sends power to all four wheels. One version we tested rocketed to 60 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds, making it one of the quickest SUVs we've ever tested. The most impressive trait of this hot crossover, along with its stunning body, is an ethereal chassis that rides as well as it turns. A set of standard adaptive dampers allows you to select the firmness of the ride, but only the bumpiest roads diminish the ride quality. Otherwise, the Stevio QF corners with remarkable poise and rewards the driver with communicative steering feedback. The sticky performance tires and beefy brakes on our test vehicle helped haul the QF from 70 miles per hour to zero in 157 feet, performance befitting that of a sports car.